Ukraine has achieved significant successes in the fight against the Russian Black Sea Fleet, but it is too early to talk about a complete and unconditional victory while there are Russian missile carriers in the Black Sea. War veteran and public activist of Ukraine Oleg Simoroz told Osborevetel media outlet in an interview about what weapons will help the Ukrainian armed forces finally get rid of them. Thus, he noted that if we talk about ATACMS, they have somewhat different tasks. They were not developed for sinking ships. At the same time, the Ukrainian missile Neptune was developed specifically for these tasks. Of course, new modern UAVs will help us here, but in fact, they are not so effective at sea because they are easy to spot at sea. But starting with the cruiser Moskva, guided cruise missiles that can maneuver have proven themselves best at sea, he said, noting that by developing the Neptune missile program, Ukraine can close these issues. In addition, he noted that aircraft, in particular the F-16, are very well suited for such tasks. This aircraft can carry a whole variety of missiles completely different, short, medium and long range, anti-ship, maneuvering, etc. If we successfully use the F-16, go somewhere from the Odessa region to the Black Sea and fire high-quality Western-guided missiles, and they have modifications of missiles developed specifically against ships, I think we will be able to significantly weaken Russian missile carriers, he said. At the same time, this will not be easy, he noted, since the Russians do not use medium or short-range missile carriers and try not to approach Ukrainian territory. He believes that only when there are no Russian missile-carrying ships in the Black Sea will it be possible to talk about victory over the Russian Black Sea fleet. At the same time, Simoroz noted, taking into account Ukraine's capabilities and rather modest anti-ship weapons, and considering the type of blow dealt to the Black Sea fleet, one can truly speak of serious successes in the fight against the Russian fleet. I would call this campaign one of the most successful campaigns of the Ukrainian armed forces during a full-scale invasion, he emphasized. Recently, the spokesman for the Ukrainian Navy, Dmitry Pletenchuk, said that the sea-based caliber missiles that the Russian Federation is using against Ukraine are no longer as effective as they were at the beginning of the full-scale invasion, so the enemy is using them in a comprehensive manner. Ukrainian special services reported that the upgraded Sea Baby drones can now carry more than 1,000 kilograms of explosives and cover a distance of more than 1,000 kilometers. This means that they can now hit targets anywhere in the Black Sea. Ukraine's aviation fleet is extremely outdated. And if we talk about American F-16 fighters, they were created as a technological platform that is developing. This was said by Ukrainian aviation expert Konstantin Krivalap, Channel 24 reports. It is noted that Russia significantly outnumbers Ukraine in the aviation component. This situation should be corrected by Western F-16 fighters, which, according to various reports, could have already arrived in Ukraine. According to Krivalap, the Ukrainian armed forces have not received a single aircraft since the Declaration of Independence. All aircraft with the exception of those that were given to us by partners, were modernized at the level of the 2000s, he added. I can in no way say that the F-16 is an outdated aircraft like our MiG or SU. Although 50 years have passed since its first release, the expert emphasized. It is indicated that Ukrainian aviation is equipped with old systems with radars for 70 to 80 kilometers. Pilots are forced to accompany launched missiles, illuminating them with radars and until the missile hits the target, it is impossible to turn around. Modern fighters work according to the opposite scheme. Let us remember that the F-16 is just a flying platform for various guided missiles that can be launched from this aircraft. Under the wing of the American F-16 fighter jet can be equipped with a wide variety of weapons. The type and quantity of these weapons are crucial for the role of aircraft transferred to Ukraine in the war. The first batch of long-awaited F-16 jets have arrived in Ukraine, Lithuania's foreign minister and a United States official have said, an effort Kyiv has said will help rebuild its depleted air force. Ukraine has been eager to acquire F-16s built by Lockheed Martin because of their destructive power and global availability. The fighter jet is equipped with a 20mm cannon and can carry bombs, rockets and missiles. Ukraine needs at least 130 F-16 fighter jets to neutralize Russian air power, according to Ukrainian officials. 
F-16s can fly up to twice the speed of sound and have a maximum range of more than 3,200 kilometers. Thank you.